Right, welcome to this video. In this one, um, we're going to be putting a hot tap in. So if you've got a dog, you need to wash the dog. Um, we're going to be putting an outdoor hot tap in, essentially with the, hot, with the outdoor. So um, I'll just take you through to the setup here. So what we have here is um, just the cold tap at the moment. So we're going to put a, a hot tap in here, just sit alongside it. And obviously I won't know what your setup is for your plumbing, but let me just show you what we're going to be doing. Um, this one, the, the plumbing is right next to where the tap needs to be, which is good, but it's quite rigid pipe work. So you'll need to, I'm going to show you the couple of things you need. Now there's lots of different ways to do um, hot taps. Some people take literally a feed off the boiling water, um, off, off like the, the raw water, which I don't think kind of works quite so well. And um, they'll blend it outside with, with pipes essentially. Um, by just putting some connectors on the hot and the cold and then doing a mixing outside. Um, in this insulation we're going to use a blender inside. So these are the parts we're using today. So from a parts perspective, obviously normal plumbing stuff, we use some plumbing, so we've got some uh, flux, solder and, and our, our butane to do the uh, actual uh, heating up of the pipes. You're going to probably need a 15mm cutter to cut into the pipes. Then outdoor wise we've got the pipe connector, so this is our, uh, it's going to go through our pipe in terms of um, for our water. You've obviously got your outdoor tap, this will attach onto, onto here to give you your outdoor tap. We're going to need some T's um, as well on our particular installation. And then this is the blender, so this, you get a like, whole variety, this is about £30 this one. Um, but So this is a blender, so you essentially will have a cold and a hot feed coming in. We're going to then set the temperature and then that will give us a, a, a consistent temperature outside when we're doing it. So this is the, the product I'm using today, so uh, our, our Technic. Um, so I said they, they do range, they go up to like 100, 150 pounds, but hopefully this one will do the job well. And, and then I'm also going to be putting in an isolation valve with kind of a, a bigger, we'll put the red one on to show it's a hot tap. Um, you don't have to do this, there are actually isolation valves as you can see on the blender, so it's possible to do that as well. Um, but I'm going to put an additional one in just so it's, because it's a hot tap outside, I don't want someone to accidentally put it on, so I just want this flexibility to have one on inside. Um, and then I've just got a bunch of other um, shoulders and stuff that I might need later on. So this bit really is going to be down to your own installation. I will show you what I'm doing. Um, you need to pick up your hot, so in this case here, you need to find your, your hot and your cold feed basically. In my case, this one up here is my cold feed. This one here is my hot feed. Um, so I'm going to basically tap in, put two T's in to my hot and my cold, and then I'll come off and then I'll install my blender here um, with the pipe work. Now, obviously, your pipe work will be different, but um, I'm going to use rigid pipe work just because this thing doesn't have any brackets on it. We'll need to sort of have some rigidity on the pipe work to hold up. So. That's what we're going to do now, and the other thing we're going to do is obviously drill a hole in the wall for the 15mm hole as well. So again, I'll drill that and just show you where I've drilled it. I'm just drilling a, I'm actually drilling an 18mm hole in the wall. So we'll just go outside and just drill 18mm hole. That'll just give me enough slack. Some people do drill 22mm and they put a sleeve on it, it's a pipe. So obviously different recommendations from different people. I've got an isolation valve inside so it does get cold. I can turn the tap off anyway but obviously if you haven't you might like to consider the 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 uh, sort of sleeve over your 15 mil piping so that's basically the order of it um, so I will now rather than bore you I will drill a hole in the wall I'm going to just tap into my pipe work here as well and put that in um, and then we'll come back when we're actually doing the installation of the uh, the blender itself and then the feedback out to the to the pipe so see you in a moment Okay, so um, fairly straightforward in this one, we've drilled the 18 mil hole on here now. So I'm taking my pipe and threading it through the wall. And in my case, I've not got much space between the boiler, um, which is just on the other side of this wall. So on the other side of this wall is the boiler. So I've had to just cut a couple of centimetres off this, and I'm going to put a poly fitting pipe on this one for ease. So that's cut now ready. I've marked up the holes on here. So I'm just going to thread that through. Um, 
what I will do now is just drill these holes ready so they're ready drilled so that I can put the pipe straight on the back of that as well now as well. So I'm just going to drill those as well. Okay, so we've put the plugs in, um, and now we're going to be good to get our pipe back in. So just turning that back through. Okay, I won't tie it up just yet in terms of screw it on. I'll just wait until I've got it connected on this side in case I need to do any kind of extra movements at all. Okay, so everything's now plumbed in. Um, I said, not really a plumbing video per se. This one, more of how to install the hot tap. So. In, in this case, um, this is my balancer. Um, they do have isolation valves on them actually, so you've got hot, cold, isolation valves. So this is just a feed off my hot uh, pipe. This feed here comes off my cold. And obviously I've got, I, in this case, I've got a separate splitter for a separate cold outside tap. Now I did decide to put in a valve as well. So I put in a separate isolation valve here. Now this has got obviously isolators over here on the blender so bit OTT but I think it's just a lot easier if I want to do anything on that tap I can literally just turn this off and equally maybe go on holiday and you're concerned some horrible person may turn your tap on outside you can just use your isolation valve um, and that's it really so um, we've now got the point where we've now got our two taps and um, so we've got separate hot and cold but obviously this this hot is blended hot so you know you can obviously change the temperature as you feel appropriate really um i'm obviously going to put a hose on that and a little brush to clean the dog a bit better but that's how i've done it um hopefully that was helpful perhaps the last thing just to show you is if you do need to adjust the temperature up and down take the cap off um unlock the the locking valve and then you can adjust the temperature of the of the hot water so if you do find you're you're too hot and or too cold out there um you can go ahead and change the blending valve so there you go um hope that helps and um gives plenty of warm hands and uh to, to, to the human as well as uh, warm feet for the dog take care